Hey guys, Nigerians in Shoko has arrested Boko Haram terrorists sent message to Tinubu and Shetima on Christmas Day. And these have got Nigerians talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Troops of the Nigerian Army on Monday morning, December 25th, arrested the notorious Boko Haram terrorist in Borono State, who confessed to killing over 10 civilians last week. According to reports, the arrested Boko Haram terrorist begged President Bola Tinubu and other leaders of the country not to send him to the rehabilitation camp, but rather they should empower him to learn a trade. This has triggered mixed reactions from Nigerians who have faulted the presence of free habilitation camps for Boko Haram terrorists in, in the country. Last year, more than 500 ex bokos were released from the re, re, the calization, rehabilitation and reintegration camp in Malam, Sidi, under Kwame local government area of Gombe State after undergoing a reformation for some time. At the facility. The former insurgents who passed out from the camp during a light ceremony had embraced the Nigerian government amnesty to lay down their arms in return for rehabilitation and reintegration back to society. During the rehabilitation period, the, these ex terrorist members were exposed to different skills, including terroring, shoe making, cap making, uh, carpentry and laundry and are now expected to support themselves and their families by earning an income doing any of the jobs in their home communities. Now you can now understand why these people will not stop. They have one belief that if they were caught, they are not going to be killed. They either send them to rehabilitation, you know, or uh, camps and all that. You see, these are people who have killed thousands of persons, thousands of Nigerians, displaced people from their ancestral homes. That is just the punishment the government took for them. You give them good life. After they have rendered the lives of uh, Nigerians, you know, useless. So you say, tell me how these people will drop their gun. They will not. In fact, they know that even when they were caught today, they are going to be given good life. You see what somebody is talking. But because that is the system. The system is so huge. I thought we have a constitution that says anybody that steals or kills, that so, so, so thing will happen to the person. The person must go for it. Even before God, if you like, repent. If you kill, there is consequence. Or these laws, are, are they just for particular region? Or they are, they, are, they, are, they are not for particular region in this country? I don't understand. If we continue like this, Nigerian government will explain tire. Because this insecurity issue, then go fight tire. A child will grow up. Seeing the father, the grandfather, all of them, they go join the same group, they go they do it, then they do. It's very pro profitable to them out there. This is, this is really disturbing. Because they will not stop. Let there be a, I don't know. Government should take a proactive action against these people. So that they will understand if you do all these things, this is what will happen to you. If you kill, you are going to be killed. As simple as ABC. If you keep pressing, they catch you. They will kill you back. There should be a kind of law that they will that that will scare people from doing all this criminal, you know, uh, whatever. But no, you will show them mercy. After killing people, you are petting them. Now, they, now they even they try to select the kind of punishment you should give to them. Is that one even punishment? 
So after killing thousands of innocent people in the name of one foolish whatever, and they, they call whatever, that Western education is prohibited. They will, they will went and learn skill work, and they will now be living in the midst of the society. I hope those unrepentant ones, they will not spread around to the South area in the name of shoemaker and tailoring is my greatest fear. The Southern Nigerians make Una sh shine on her eyes oh, because there is fire on the mountain. Why all these whatever skills? What gave this killer the effrontery to start thinking of leaving to start trading instead of being killed by those that arrested them? He, let's see let us see what would happen after this. If you can forgive these terrorists and call them repentant ones who have killed and destroyed our soldiers, cause Nigeria a lot of pains, please, for, the, for God's sake, forgive Namdi Kano and hand him over to five uh, Southeast governors who still collect allocation from Nigerian state but empowered 10 people to the grave, not minding the pains the family will go through. He should be empowered inside a gasket. Nigerian army waste their time arresting and persecuting these Tagra terrorists. It's like postponing the evil days. What don't you neutralize? Why, why don't you neutralize them and move on? You don't need to listen to these not an emirs, one middle in military affairs. Okay, guys, as you can see, Nigerians are angry with this. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.